It's Bob and Tom Tonight, starring Chick McGee, Christy Lee, Josh Arnold, Ace Cosby, Pat Godwin, Willie Griswold, and Tom Griswold. Leave it alone. Uh, welcome back to the Bob and Tom Show. There's Christy Lee. I'm having trouble saying Bob today. I don't know what the hell that's all about. Hi. Here at the Navy Federal Credit Union News Desk, there's Pat Godman <laughs> at the, I mean, Godwin. Hi, Chick. At the Oxford Gold Group Performance Room, there's Josh Arnold. I'm getting a lot of John Arnold these days. My because of the, buddy. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I yeah. So. Toledo advertising yeah, snafu. Yeah. Yeah. I hate Steven Singer sidekick chair. Jess Hooker has joined us. Hi. In the, um, in the, uh, Jess, were you aware of this auxiliary? orange juice, uh, Mm. Phenomenon? Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. How did I miss this? Because you don't like orange juice. Mm. You miss a lot of stuff, to be fair. <laughs> I don't Thank know anything you. about uh, turnips. Right. I've never eaten a turnip. See? Love them. It's the same thing. And you Willie's make, right. You miss a lot. You can make really nice chips out of turnips. You right? must eat yeah. turnips This uh, day. Once again, oh. Tropicana <laughs> is debuting a toothpaste that they guarantee will not make your orange juice taste terrible. Again, my question, who brushes their teeth before their breakfast? A lot of people. A lot of Most people of do. Thank yeah. you, Jess. Then you go brush them again? Yes. Sure, yeah. No no, 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 I don't. No, no. no yeah, I, most I just, people don't. <laughs> you brush them and then you're out out for the day. Do you brush? Are you one of these people brush at a restaurant in the, in the restroom after no. you have a or at work? Yeah, yeah, what he a does. Weirdo. I, I have a water pick and I have a here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, you. I, I used to have it in the bathroom. But you're, yeah. <laughs> oh, I have a toothbrush and toothpaste here, but yeah, well, I, yeah. I have a Sonicare and a water pick in my office. Oh, Chick, those God little sakes. floss sticks thing, they're like triggering for me because I used to hear him just yeah. <laughs> going at himself <laughs> in the car. Oh, now he's moving. It sounded like he was tuning a guitar. Just now he, bang, he, bang, bang, bang. Now he has you these. these? Yeah, yeah. Now he has yeah. these little yeah. well, the, uh, brushes. Insane. Why don't they just make toothpaste that tastes like orange juice and. Sick. <laughs> that would I think solve there the has problem. been something. Hey, that. I have a thing that I want. I was on like a, there was like a TikTok thing and it was like a mom hack and this mom was saying her kids hate brushing their teeth so she puts whipped cream and sprinkles on top of their toothpaste. Isn't that just rubbing sugar onto the teeth? Yeah, That's, of course it is. Oh my God. <laughs> That's a bad idea. That's very ridiculous. Dumb. Yeah, very, yeah. very dumb. Yeah. How odd. Yeah. Enjoy your feet while you can, kids. <laughs> <laughs> You're not going to have them when you're 22. I'm just taking them away. A toothpaste that sounds like, uh, that tastes like orange juice? I think they had that. I swear it was. Do you hate vomiting but love the way your mouth tastes after? <laughs> Orange and white in its swirl. <laughs> well, so now is, it's here. Because Tropicana is making this toothpaste, not Crest, according yeah. to this news account. So, so a citrus flavored toothpaste. They have, I don't know. They have an agenda. It doesn't yeah. have some chemical in it, so th that apparently causes. Uh, if you can't, if you can't handle the three seconds that it tastes bad, mm -hmm. you've got bigger problems. <laughs> Move on. That's a good point. Yeah, there's yes. citrus flavored toothpaste out there right now. How yeah. about that, Jake? You know, people Is complain it pulp about. Is free? Or? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> People complain about the acidity of orange juice, but mm. you know you can get rid of that acidity there. Oh. A little bit of vodka in there will cut that acidity That's right, right. There you go. A little bit of vodka Brush your teeth, well, get a nice toothbrush, <laughs> get a nice uh, Sonicare, maybe a Phillips toothbrush yes. is nice. And, uh, Billy keeps falling asleep. Put you like a nice oh, it's probably the vodka. A mouthful of vodka in your mouth and just wash it around. Okay. Mm. It kills the germs. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Well. Uh, now. And all of a sudden, oh. you look forward to brushing your teeth. <laughs> Every morning. Yeah. Yeah. Brushing my teeth. Now, yeah, you know, promise we also Get have... Get up uh, and greet the day. Hello, day. We have Pop-Tart news. What's a that? woman has filed a lawsuit against Kellogg's saying that the way they market their strawberry Pop-Tarts is misleading. Mm, New York okay. resident Elizabeth Russett is suing the breakfast food giant, claiming the fruit filling in Kellogg's whole grain frosted strawberry toaster pastries is mostly other fruits, according okay. to TMZ. <laughs> can, you Let me imagine, tell you something. can you imagine living with this broad? If this, <laughs> if this woman screws up Pop-Tarts for all of us. Exactly, especially she's, strawberry. It's my favorite. Yeah, she's going to have to answer to me. Yeah, Kellogg's makes my favorite cereal, lady. Shut up. <laughs> the lawsuit says the nutrition label in question actually shows pastries are heavier on pears and apples rather than strawberries. Then don't what? Oh my gosh. Do you know how much actual fruit is in there to begin with? No yeah. kidding. So yeah. small. <laughs> right. And first of all, by the time you eat one and burn off all the skin in your mouth and your tongue, what do you care? <laughs> Not everybody toasts them. No. Huh? You can eat them right out of the pack. Yes. They're delightful. Immoral. Mm. Or if you toast them. <laughs> They're great immoral. on a fishing trip. If yeah. you toast them, give them a chance to cool by yeah. Brushing butter on them. Oh. He's not wrong. And He's then exactly right. eat them. 
Are you a genius? No, butter on a pop tart's the best. It's Maybe. the best. I, it's, it's so weird. My brother did it growing up. Same here. Yeah. We did it as kids. We ne crazy. I never did it. No. I can't have pop tarts because I would do a stick of butter in every pop tart. Oh my gosh. <laughs> you know what I like about the pop tart? I they would. survived. The, the toaster strudel. Yes. When the, toast, yes, when the Pillsbury did. toaster strudel came out, I went, Pop-Tarts are dead. <laughs> Have you had one of these things? <laughs> oh, so and they nice. went, no, no, we're sticking with what we do. Yeah. That's right. They kept the icing on top. There was no separate package, you know? Yeah. 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 Self-contained. Yeah. Well, I don't like the frosted ones. I don't like the frosted ones either. Yeah, yeah. too much sugar. Yes. What? I no, like I plain. Well, I like having my feet. <laughs> too much joy. <laughs> Josh said I was going to lose my feet. He's wrong. <laughs> I there can't see my feet anymore, but I know those they're who down like there. Frosted and those who don't. Well, we don't. I don't. I know. No. Gosh, I don't I want anything to do guys. with either one yeah. of you. Oh, okay. Good for us. You know what? The fattest thing I've ever done is. Oh, leave. hang on. Cut Wait the a music. Uh, well, where the hell is? It? I got it. I got it. Right I, I can't. Oh. The fattest thing. The fattest just... thing I've ever done is I have left uh, pop tarts in my car on a hot summer day and then enjoyed them warm. <laughs> when I got back in, knowing, oh, genius. knowing exactly what I was doing. Yeah. yeah. Oh, genius. Looking forward to the pop tarts Looking when you got back the in the car. The yes. melted pop tarts. Oh, so mm -hmm. good. Mm -hmm. Delicious. Uh, now, um, I've never <laughs> had a toasted. Strip. You haven't had a pop tart well, since oh. you were in high school. You've never probably. had a toasted. Strip. I have They're never. Terrific. I've mm -hmm. never had a toasted. Strudel what? because I'm so loyal to Pop Tarts. No. Oh, it's a okay, fan. but you I'll can enjoy some. both. I it's enjoy a fantastic both. pastry, my friend. Yeah, I'll order some. You'll have some next week. Can you have a Pop Tart and strudel icing and put the icing on the Pop Tart? Sure, you could. You, Why not? You, you know what? You will next. Week. <laughs> okay. It's like it's like crossing the streams. <laughs> yeah, I know. I I don't know There's what. It's a happen. chemical reaction. Check we'll that restaurant he goes that. to where you can't park. They have like a delicious adult Pop Tart kind of thing, and you mm -hmm. got to go in there and you got to get. Yeah, you can get loose with that thing, my friend. Hello, can I? Help you. Is it like a lemon ricotta filled pop it's, tart? I don't get It's so good. <laughs> you know, it's a chutney patchouli yeah. <laughs> rolled up. Chutney patchouli. Her, herbal. Yeah. Sounds chutney like one of the Manson family. You know, chutney patchouli? <laughs> Squeaky chutney. <laughs> How do you get the nickname Squeaky, by the way? She's got a nag, right? Like mattress she, thing. Uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. She, who knows how she got it? Receptacle. <laughs> Oh, wow. Uh, oh. <laughs> yes. She's squeaky. She had a squeaky from. Okay. okay. <laughs> hey, welcome back to the Bob and Tom Show. Christy Lee's over there at the news desk. There's Pat Godwin. Hey. With his guitar and his organ. <laughs> There's Josh Arnold. He's here. Hi. Jess Hooker joins us. Hi. There she is. There's Ace Cosby. Hey. There's Willie Griswold. Woo! This has been Chick McGee speaking. There's Tom. Hey, buddy. Hey, Chick. Chick, of course, at the DoorDash. Yes. The special DoorDash uh, section of our building. The yummiest. Uh, and that's how good much we like it. I, 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 I was trying to research something earlier. Um, I think Pat referenced this. Um, I forget why we were talking. Oh, I know. We were talking about Flippy, mm. right? Yes. Isn't Flippy the, the robot that they're going to be using at Hopefully Buffalo at Wild BW3, Wings? Yeah, Buffalo Wild Wings. Yes. And uh, Flippy apparently will uh, is a robot that knows how to make these wings. And yep. He does make the wings, too. Yeah, or the, it, it makes the wings. Yeah, there was some, wings. Uh, I was a little concerned that, you know, with hot oil, something could go wrong if Flippy got angry. If, you know, <laughs> Flippy... Sure. You wouldn't like Flippy, Flippy if he's angry. I told Lloyd I wasn't working Saturday. Mm -hmm. All of a sudden, Lloyd's got hot oil in his face. Um, but um, I mentioned the fact that Flippy will not d dip his testicles into your uh, no, salsa. Really. Uh, and I found that story, Pat, the one you referenced. This is from the Associated Press. A couple years ago, right? Yeah. A Tennessee man was jailed on felony charges after dipping his testicles into a container of salsa that was oh. being delivered to a customer who'd ordered the food online. Salsa. Mm. Why did you think it was ranch? Yeah, we had a story a about story, ranch yeah. and nuts, too. Really? If you yeah. had to dip your testicles, what would you dip them in? Salsa or ranch? Ooh. Go. Mm. I, I'd go I ranch every time. No, I think salsa would be easier to clean. Do you remember too. when they said that your testicles had taste buds yes. and people yeah. were dipping yeah. their... I tried it. Yeah? Oh, you did? Yeah. <laughs> did it work? It was in soy sauce. No. Oh. It was in soy sauce? <laughs> yeah, it wasn't in soy sauce? No, so it was it here on the air, uh, Christy will back me on this. Was it the green or the red soy sauce? It was the uh, sodium filled, yeah. Oh, okay. yeah, you gotta no, go with yeah. salt filled. Nothing's yeah. worse than a salt, salt, salty scrotum. <laughs> um, so in this case, this delivery driver allegedly recorded the testicle dipping and posted the video online. I don't know why they say allegedly. Um, <laughs> yeah, we all saw it. Then he said, this is what you get when you tip 89 cents for a 30-minute drive. Um, this gentleman uh, 
HMW, we'll call him, 31 years old, was arrested and charged with adulteration of food. Mm. <laughs> I, how do they still have the food? Well, I'm not going to get into Wouldn't you tip after you got your food? Exactly. That's the problem here. The chance. That is the problem. Right. Just because, because they didn't tip in advance doesn't mean the person wasn't waiting with cash. Right. 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 Uh, yeah. yeah. But this guy was actually arrested yeah. for this. So, um... His girlfriend was driving and he was in the passenger seat. Yep. Correct. I and remember now. she was Did also... I believe she yeah. was fired. Yeah. So, uh... You tip... And then also, you uh, you don't rat on yourself. Why would you film yourself if you're doing something gross? Yeah, because the, people are idiots. I, I was going to say, this guy's an idiot, but you're right. <laughs> some Christy, people, not the, all most, people. Most, I think, obviously. really. Is that we live in a TikTok some. nation. <laughs> um, yeah. I don't know. So, uh, again, uh, just going around the horn, What you would dip your testicles in soy sauce, Josh? That's your first choice? No, not mine. My mine would be a, a nice warm queso. Oh, really? Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> It would kind of coat my uh, my boys in a, yeah. in a nice warm blanket. Kind of cheese. remind you of your senior prom. That's nice. Oh, I don't even get that. Yeah, I don't even know. Uh, the cheesy I testicle. humped a pizza after my prom. <laughs> <laughs> so it reminds me of that. Yeah. Why, why not just go there? <laughs> Instead of uh, whores and food, I just oh hump food. Oh, my gosh, Tom. <laughs> That's a big leap. Oh. He brings up a good yeah, it's point. It's not that big a leap from where no. we've been. No. Now, if you dip them deeply, technically the food would be tainted. <laughs> That's right. Yeah. Yes. Well, because you're tainted. Tainted. Yeah. Right. Yeah, yeah. That was a good joke. I would think you'd go, I think you'd go with ranch. That nice, nice, cool. No. Okay. Cool them off? No, because there's like dill and you seasoning in there. Maybe. Yeah, yeah. Just go are straight sour cream. You, are you worried about cleanup afterwards? Would you consider that? I, like the I, soy I, sauce would rinse off quick. The so queso, not so much. Who's, so cleaning, also, who's cleaning the queso off? Oh, so. and are they using their tongue? Yeah. If it's ranch, uh, I'm sure there's a sorority girl around. <laughs> The old, the old joke, you see. Oh, yes. How do you get a saruna? Yes. Bring it over here. Ranch dressing. Yeah. Oh, it'd, be, it'd be real tough like you did with guac. Because you'd have to kind of paste it on, and then it's going to turn brown after 10 minutes. And also, yeah. Didn't put any lime in the guacamole. My goodness. You're Plus. just dipping. You're not sitting in it. <laughs> I thought you were going to say nuts. Yeah, now you're sitting in it. <laughs> Plus, in Re a lot of Referencing stuff. the classic the dishwasher. You're soaking in it. Washer commercial, you're so, the Madge, you're yes, soaking in it. Yes, Palmolive, you're soaking in it. A lot of stuff down it. there is green. What do you do then? Oh. The guac. Oh, boy. Wouldn't it be great if, the, the, if they hadn't gotten caught and they're testing it going, this salsa is a bit nutty. Uh, uh, oh. Now, Pat, you, apparently have, you have apparently composed oh. a song on this topic. About the waiter? Yeah. yeah. Okay. <laughs> I dip my balls in the salsa. Yeah. I dip my balls in the salsa. I call it balsa. That's balls in the salsa. <laughs> That's what you get from not tipping. <laughs> yes, my balls, I am dipping. <laughs> By the way, Mr. Cheapo, your taco was in my bunghole. Oh, That's right. Oh. Balls in salsa. Balls in salsa. I call it balsa. Cheap, cheap, cheap. Oh, That's the worst thing to happen to Richie Valens in snow. <laughs> and we were there, dude. I was, or just maybe Earth. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Everything yeah, I guess was okay until. Uh, yeah, yeah, okay. Well, well, well thanks for putting the P in Picante. We'd appreciate that. Uh, wow. Um, yeah, that was That happened. So yes, it did. Very, mm. very unfortunate. I wouldn't do honey. That's for sure. No, that'd be sticky, Bessie. Yeah, be real sticky. Yeah. I'd do blue cheese. Would you really? Yeah. Pat. Why? That's Don't gross. You, so the smell it wouldn't be any different? Blue, <laughs> oh, because okay. oh, they're blue. Oh, the blue connection. Oh, you know, I, I, yeah. that, that's just the joke of the day. I, we're, we're done. That would be brilliant. He I, hasn't I, had sex for a long time, remember? He's uh, horny. I hate, I hate blue cheese. Me and you too. Yeah. Oh. yeah I'm not a fan I like either. It. I like and it. You've got to get good blue cheese. Yeah. 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 Homemade blue cheese. Crumbled blue cheese is good. It sucks. They should make it. They should dye it blue. That way you'd know and not think, oh, this has got ranch dressing on it. You go for it. Well, the blue cheese. The chunky isn't ranch. That's the way to remember it. <laughs> Blue cheese is kind of chunky. Mm -hmm. Ah, it's mm -hmm. gross. Mm -hmm. It's just mold. Really? I mean, and it tastes as such. Just throw it away. Get rid of it. Plus, it tastes different. Yeah, Josh, and I, you go to those places and they give you that. What's that fancy cheese tray called? Charcuterie. Yeah, a charcuterie. Yeah, they they board. bring it yes. out, and there's yes, always one right. that smells like a poodle turd. Yeah. <laughs> like, oh, well. I guess we have to pretend like we like this. Why are you picking on poodles? <laughs> some of it's good. Mm -hmm. Only yeah. some. Three quarters. Because of it, yeah. poodles are so elegant. I love poodles. They're great <laughs> dogs. But they still you like, know, of like all, all the dogs, dogs. Poodles are the most elegant. <laughs> they are pretty elegant. Oh, Afghan yeah. hounds are elegant. I think they're dogs. They're all silly. Yeah.
Poodles are real dumb, though, right? No, they're, they're not. They're they're the smartest they look dumb. dumb. I don't like decorative dogs. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you don't know if it's a dog or a throw pillow, right? <laughs> but I think, yeah, exactly. And it's interesting yeah. to me that the the poodle haircut is now very popular with human beings. What? You know, How they, so? Well, they'll shave it in the side, and there's just this lump up top. And <laughs> I'm glad you're going with poodle now. Yeah, me too. <laughs> yeah, I like poodle much yeah, better. Yeah, much better than the Hitler. Yeah, I like that. Well, that's what it is. If you look at your history, that's the Hitler haircut. It's be, making a big comeback among the illiterati. <laughs> Welcome back to the Bob and Top Show. There's Christy Lee. Hey. There's Pat Godwin. Hi. There's Josh Arnold. Hello. Jess Hooker is here. Hi. There's Ace Cosby. Hey. There's Willie Griswold. Ooh. This has been Chick McGee speaking. And now here he is, uh, the master of disaster. Yeah. The host <laughs> with the most, <laughs> Tom Griswold. I'm still trying to find pictures of this robot. Oh. I already showed you a picture of the robot. I want one on my computer. <laughs> Oh, Lord. <laughs> uh, that was lovely the way you did it. Yeah, uh, the Buffalo Wild Wings people have developed this computer. They're working on this computer. W Wingy the robot? Is that right? Flippy correct? Wings. Oh, Flippy, Flippy wing. Wings. Okay, Flippy Wings. And again, the idea is that Flippy will take over at the. <laughs> At the whatever you call it, the at the fryer, the fryer, yes, and you know, you know, fry bar, up your wings. Barring some kind of weird power surge, won't be heaving hot oil on. You know, we're be, all going to stop employees. helping you find words, and just because I think it's going to be funnier that way <laughs> okay. for you to use the words that are coming into. I mean, brain. Th th this is important. Uh, that, uh, we like the furnace in your car. Go ahead. Yeah, we had the uh, <laughs> we, we had the we had the guy. The, remember the robot that they brought in here that was flipping the hot dogs yes. and stuff. A robotic was arm. It, yeah. it was yeah. a, ro wasn't a robot. So it's only a robot. If it has a face, is that that's what Ace? No, I mean that's what Chick says. I agree. I agree. So, <laughs> but it, otherwise, it's just a machine. Yes. Yeah, a mechanized no, arm. it's a or, robot. Just get a shoppy no. and draw a little, draw a little smiley face on the thing. No. <laughs> what do you call your little vacuum? Is that not a robot? No way. The Roomba. Oh, um, that's a little robot. Yeah, I don't Does use it that. Have a face? I don't you put use a face that all that often. I got to be honest. I guess with you. you could. Well, how often do you, uh, as Josh would say, spill two Cheerios you need picked up? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's full again. <laughs> and now they have the mop version. Yes. They do? Yes. Oh, really? Oh, it's for the uh, hardwoods. Yeah. People mm -hmm. are going bananas for hardwoods. Yeah. But I mean, eventually robots are going to be doing a lot of the stuff that we currently do. <laughs> Got to get, get used to that. And in this case, it's going to be flipping wings and hot grease. But uh, we'll see if they get it developed. Uh, Pat, yeah? you give me that look. Do you have a tribute to... Oh! Buffalo Wild Wings! <laughs> Your sauce makes my tongue sting. <laughs> <laughs> you make that buffalo spicy! <laughs> I'm talking about Buffalo Wild Wings. <laughs> Buffalo Wild Wings, I heard you have a robot. Oh. You call Flippy Wings. <laughs> I think when he fries it, I'll try it. Mm, brr, I think I love you. Buffalo Wild Wings. <laughs> You've got robots and wings they bring. But you make everything confusing. BW3, yeah? What does that three mean? Taking you home now with little Buffalo Wild wings. <laughs> you make my butt sting. <laughs> you send everything through me. <laughs> Buffalo wild wings. Yeah. Whoa. The first three quarters that I think the wild Buffalo Wild Wings people are going to call up whoever it is, Chip Taylor, and buy the rights to that song. <laughs> but uh, I think the ending part about uh, it passing through you. Her butt doesn't yeah. sting. No. No. Well, you, 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 can eat hot, you can have hot sauce that you feel. Seriously? Mm -hmm. Oh, are you dumb? Yeah. You've never had that. No. Oh. No, they, yeah, they have are all the saying, different sauces. They have are a, you saying a your bunch butt doesn't sting? Different sauces. Sting. 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 Oh. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, gee, man, Nutley Skitley. And a butt. Her butt's name. Right? I said next to her. <laughs> oh, what is really? wrong with you? Really? Oh, maybe, I can't I wait until she your, punches Maybe it's your feet. You know, <laughs> <I'll punch. laughs> you know, everything that you give us lectures about, you yeah. do on the uh, air. Oh, sorry. You know, just that. kidding. Just uh, kidding. I see, if you think you just say just kidding or it's a joke and it's all okay. Mm -hmm. 
<laughs> the true man. Well, we've, yep. we've dissolved into that. <laughs> You're the, I know you are, but what am I? You brought up the... Fourth the, grade, oh. here we come. Okay, I'm sorry. Harrison Ford has been reunited, and it feels so good, with his lost credit card in Italy. Police in Sicily say the actor lost his credit card during a stay in a beach town near Palermo. Who cares other than Harrison Ford? I You're left right. home without it. A German tourist found the credit card with Ford's name on it, turned it into the local police station in the beach town of Mandelo. Officers tracked the actor down and returned the card. Boy, that's a great story. <laughs> so wait a second. He, he, this is like that one is of Chick's exciting. stories. Yeah. <laughs> so he well, almost had me there when okay. it was lost. Editor's <laughs> note, they, I did not choose that found story. Him. Of course, wait, Christy, <laughs> let's get the details straight. So he lost his Card. Yeah. They yeah. found his car. Yeah. They got him his car. Yeah. That's it. That's it. This, <laughs> calls, <laughs> this, story, yeah. this calls for a Ford Fiesta. Oh, God. It's Italy. It's Italy, not Mexico. A yeah, Ford Fiesta. <laughs> you think? He saw this. He saw this story. Ford Fiesta popped into his mind, and he didn't care. Oh, it's, uh, and he crossed the border into France. Wow. <laughs> just once, I'd love to see how his oh, brain works. Sorry. Mm. His brain, it's just a Japanese game show inside that. Yes, <laughs> just scattering all over. Part like, of there is no so brain. So they just gave him back the credit card? Well, what would you do with it? I'd make him outrun a giant boulder. <laughs> oh, all right, Indiana <laughs> yeah, Jones style. Just I like get you. <laughs> <laughs> so I lost my credit card. I know. Watch the entire show live or on demand at bobandtom.com or listen live with the Bob and Tom app. And be sure to tune in next time for more Bob and Tom Tonight.